We've come to Atkinson Equipment here in Wiltshire to find out how a milling automation investment with White House machine tools has more than halved their lead times. We've invested in this automation shell from White House Machine Tools and it's cut our lead times um, quite dramatically in instances from sort of 12 to down to six weeks, um, a month down to one week. Since automating the milling side of the, the business, um, we've seen a real improvement in our lead times. Um, we've seen a drop in the bottleneck we've had from our turning section um, and the ability for us to get the product out the door to our customers is is through the roof. So Adam, what do Atkinson Equipment produce? So we are a, a OEM's manufacturer and supplier of domestic oil um, and AdBlue pumps and products. Um, we're also a subcontract engineering firm. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess you've got a lot of demands placed on you from Product manufacturing requires very different things to subcontract manufacture. Yes, yeah, so we've been producing um, our own parts for 50 plus years now. Um, we're, you know, really good at what we do with that. Subcontract engineering we've been doing for the last sort of 20, 30 years, but we're really trying to promote that side now. So yeah, yeah real buried amount of work. Absolutely, and doing lots of different work, but also high volume work we needs automation like this cell that we're going to be talking about in just a little bit. Yeah. Before we talk about this, this brand new cell that you've invested in, you've been on a journey with White House Machine Tools for quite a while. When was the first machine that you bought? Yeah, so 2019, we bought a 700, uh, which is now at our sister site, Richmond Precision Engineering. Um, and it's just developed from there, really. We've now got four, four brothers. Um, yeah, yeah I, and one. that first machine that you bought, um, why did you buy that? What, what investment did you make and, and why did it work with the kind of components you were producing? Yeah, so it was a four plus one access machine. It allowed us to hit, you know, all sides of some of the com more complex parts that we produce. Uh, we work with castings and we do a lot of different products, varying holes and, and, and bases that need working on and it allowed us to hit Hit all of that in one go. Absolutely, and as, that, as you started to see the benefits from doing that one-hit machining, how did the relationship with White House develop? You've got new machinery and also another automation cell for, for turning. Yes, yeah, I mean, the relationship with them is, is, is key to it. We're really happy with the, the service they provide and, and confidence that we get from, from, from this, this customer service and the support we get from them. It yeah. gives us confidence to you know, keep using them, really. Brilliant. So becoming a trusted supplier in mill milling, but also in, in a turning automation with a robo job cell. Yeah. Um, then that led to, I guess, what made you interested in investing in milling automation? So we found that we, we needed more capacity and, and to get parts out the door quicker. We had a bit of a bottleneck from the turning, the, the automation from there, um, and being able to get things turned and onto the mills and out the door to our customers or, or our own products is you know, paramount is key. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you went to the showroom to have a look at this, and originally you were only going to be looking at, at applying this, the cube box from Tesmax San on an existing machine, the S700. Yeah. Yeah, so that was our original plan. Um, we, you know, explored that quite well, and we were really impressed with what we saw at the showroom when it was attached to, to, the, to the unit that we've got here. Um, looking at the cost difference between the two, it made sense to, to go for a fully automated setup for the new five axis machine. Um, it just, just made absolute sense for us to do. And what is it about the actual machine itself that made you go for not just the automation, but the machine as well? So the working envelope, actually, the, the footprint of it is ideal for us. Um, the 28 tool capacity just makes, you know, working on these parts pretty seamless. Um, and the rotary joint makes things so much simpler in terms of, you know, holding the parts. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So the fit string, the tooling, and the, the envelope machine, you can see it fits in a quite a small space yeah, as well. Yeah, really compact. You don't need any guarding. No. Which no. is... Which is the sensor, it's, it's, you know, completely safe for us to, to work around. Um, was it quite daunting taking on a new, completely new piece of technology, which is automating a milling machine like this? It, it was daunting, of course. It's a, it's a, you know, a whole new system for us. Um, but we were really confident with the support that we would get from, from White House, um, their ability to, to really guide us through that process to, to be where we are now, 
churning out parts. Yeah, absolutely. And how did you get up and running? How easy was it to, to start producing parts as soon as possible? Yeah, so White House, you know, were great. They helped us with the design of the trays and some end of arm stalling. Um, we now produce our own trays um, to, to fit the products that we needed to fit. And um, yeah, we're, we're really, really happy with the, with the product. It's, it's a great bit of kit. Absolutely. Okay, and there's been a big impact actually on the business as well. Both in subcontract parts and, and, and product production parts. Yes. What, what's happened now? You've had this uh, this machine uh, producing parts and being automated. Yeah. So your shift patterns and what kind of parts you can make. Yeah. So we we do run a sort of an extended split shift here, um, with with a call out. We can you know run this machine for for 20, 24 hours. So the biggest impact is our lead times. They they've gone you know they completely plummeted. Um, we. For example, the products we're producing here, about two and a half thousand, would have taken us about a month before we can we can churn them out in about a week. Um, so it's, it's quartered our, our own product times. For some of the more complex subcontracting parts, we've gone from you know 12 to six weeks. It, it's, it's such a big difference. Yeah, and that's such a big big uh, consideration nowadays where lead times are normally going up, costs are yes. going up. Yeah. You're actually bringing lead times down with an investment in piece yeah. of information. It, it really helps us particularly in the subcontract area, to, to try and win, win that work. Absolutely, so helping uh, Atkinson Equipment win work every single day. That's a Tesmaxan Cube Box and also, brother, U500.